becoming a giant killer, part three, listing carefully God's precious people, by redemption, you are a giant killer. You are not just to survive what others don't survive, you are to thrive. By redemption, you are a giant killer. By redemption, you are an overcomer. By redemption, you are more than a conqueror. You, I, I strongly advise you to get the part one, to get the part three, two, uh, two, add it to this part three, and then get the part four. Go to Hosea chapter four, verse six. Everybody hear me. You see, we quote this scripture a, a lot. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Shout with me, God forbid. forbid. I can hear somebody shout it authoritatively. See thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. See thou as forgotten. The part A of this scripture verse is talking about lack of knowledge and those who reject knowledge. The part two is talking about those who forget. You know, the Bible says, forget not his benefit. Sir, (laughs) to be a giant killer, there is what you must never forget. It's been my emphasis today. A believer is more than a conqueror because the greater one lives on your inside. The greater one lives on your inside. He says, see, because you have forgotten the law of thy God. To forget what God has done, then you will be a victim of what the enemy can do. If you forget what God has done in your life, his grace, his mercies, his hair. Prosha, Lebron, and the boss, today a lot of people are weakened in battle. The ship lay fall victim of. The devices of the enemy. Why? See, they have forgotten. They have forgotten. How he helped them the last time they were in crisis. They have forgotten. How he delivered them from the family curse. They have forgotten. They have forgotten. How he rescued them, the last financial crisis they had, they've forgotten. If you forget how God helped you to kill an elephant, a mosquito will threaten you later. Mama Sia, a brakashia, you know what he said? He said, Because you forgot, I will even not help your children. When you forget the good that God has done for you, you bring even your children under punishment. Even your children. Ingratitude is a demon. And I want everybody to hear me. To be a giant killer, the number one key is the principle of remembrance. The principle of remembrance. Never forget. You must remember. (laughs) Like <laughs> asolia brakashas. Lindro e pro asolia brakas. This is what will fortify your faith. Bitterness is selective memory. The reason why a lot of people complain the mama, and it is human nature to always forget. It is human nature to always forget. Do you know the human nature is so funny? Do you know you can make a post and as you post it on your social media, let's say 100 people commented. 91 
commented positively and nine commented negatively. Do you know you can focus on the nine and forget the 91? That is the nature of man. Now, now look at it. Oh, 91 people praise you. In fact, you will leave them. And But this one said I'm a fool. But 91 said your head is correct. It is the nature of man to quickly forget good. Listen, it is the nature of man to quickly forget good. Unfortunately, this is the reason why they are weakened in battle. The law of remembrance is a biblical pillar that makes you a giant killer. The Bible is a book of remembrance. Look at me, church. From Genesis to Revelation, you will see God always commanding, you shall remember. 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 How can I forget where God brought me from? No, no, I can't forget. I can't forget. God that brought me out from that foundation, he is able to kill this Goliath that is facing me. Remember where God brought you from. Remember the help God has rendered. Remember the opportunities God has given you. Remember the loving kindness God has showed you. Remember his grace towards you. La braka shiadis, li kitushi, le pro andia siya de kerush. Everybody open with me quickly. Deuteronomy 15, 15, King James Version. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Look at your neighbor, you must remember. I, I want you to scream it authoritatively, you must remember. Let's look at it quickly. And thou shalt remember that thou was a bondman in the land of Egypt. And the Lord thy God redeemed thee. Therefore, I commanded this thing today. You must remember, remembrance is a commandment. He said, remember you are in slave. As a slave, rather. You are in Egypt as a slave. You are in slavery in Egypt. And the Lord thy God delivered thee. Everybody hear me. Never ever forget the way God has ever delivered you. Never forget it. Remember, this is the reason why a lot of people keep losing in the battles of life. They keep losing in the battles of life. Prakoshiades, le pro andia sia braka shiadoros, le ma androsia apre etolia bra. Lift up your right hand, shout with me. I remember, O oh Lord. I remember, O oh Lord. I give you thirty seconds. Mention the wonders of God in your life. I remember that even this morning you woke me up. I remember the journey I went that day, and we met armed robbers on the way, and you rescued me. I remember how a friend called three years ago that he dreamt that I died and you rescued me from that negative dream. I remember your mercies. I remember your grace. Remember, 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 remember. <laughs> oh. Lebro and Asiadish. Lebro do Shia Dakaras. Is somebody speaking to the Lord? Are you sure you are speaking to the Lord? This is the key to victory. La brodi siya dakaras. Le brodo siya adas. Lea andabos siya dakaros. Le grado stelia. In Jesus' precious name. That amen is too slow. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you must, you must always remember. Can you say it again to another neighbor? You must always remember. Scream it authoritatively to another neighbor. You must always remember. Shout it to a new neighbor. You must always remember. Always remember your previous victory. It, it will engender your present victory. Always remember your previous victory. Deuteronomy 8.18 And thou shalt remember... 
It is the Lord thy God that gives thee power to get that victory. And please, you shall remember, if you think it's because you went to the hospital, you were treated, you get healed. A lot of people were treated the same way in the hospital and they died. So it is not the treatment, it's God that helped you. Hospitals treat, only God heal. So if you went to the hospital and you were treated and you are healed, it's not the treatment. It's because Jehovah Rapha, the healer, healed you. You shall remember. So in case any other sickness is strengthening you, you look at that sickness and then you rehearse your past victory. You tell that Satan facing you, this Goliath, you tell that devil, have you forgotten three years ago when I was rushed to the hospital and even doctors don't know what they are going to do and here am I, I'm still alive. Are you threatened by another financial giant? Rehearse to that present giant your three deliverances that you experienced from God some times ago. Let that devil hear you because it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he did it before, he's going to do it again. It's the God of again and again. If you forget your past victories, you will lose your present battle. If you forget your past victory, you will lose your present battle. And thou shalt remember, it is the Lord thy God that giveth thee power to get wealth. <laughs> it is the Lord thy God that giveth thee power to get that victory. It was looking as if you will never graduate from the university. And here you are, you are a graduate. The same grace that made you a graduate will get a good job for you. Yeah. It was looking as if you will never marry and now you are married. The same grace that helped you to marry will give you children now. Yeah. Remember, remember, remember. I say to you, remember. Don't let the enemy make you bow down your head in battle. Don't let the enemy intimidate you. You are not <laughs> a, a victim of chance by accident. God has worked on you to this point. It didn't help you to this point to disappoint you. It didn't help you to this point to leave you. Remember, Agrada Ashtalia. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you must remember. Scream it authoritatively. Shout it convincingly. You are not just to remember, it's an everlasting remembrance. Deuteronomy 16, verse 3, quickly. Embrokosia. Tell your neighbor, Everlasting remembrance. Everlasting. There are days you must never forget. Never. 1994, I was leaving my senior brother's house in Lagos. And as I stepped out of the house, the Holy Spirit said to me, return back and sprinkle yourself with the blood. I sprinkled myself with the blood. And then <laughs> I got to Yanopaja entered into uh, a downfall or so to Oshodi. And in between Yanokwaja and uh, Mongoro Abe Bridge, tell your neighbor, Mongoro Abe Bridge. Mongoro Say it a minute. Mongoro Say it authoritatively. Ah. Gone short everywhere. Armed robbers came to rob a bank. And opened fire. Bullet upon bullet was passing over that downfall I was in. And God said, this is the reason I said you should sprinkle the blood. Remember, sir. So, therefore, an armed robber can't kill you today. Remember, sir. Remember. I say to you again, remember. You have victories in your archives. Remember, sir. Remember. 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 That today, that your son, that your daughter is not in the grave. And sicknesses and diseases has come a lot. That today you are not a widow, you are not a widower. And the enemy has come severally. Look at that devil that is facing you now. And tell that devil, my God did it before he's going to do it again. Give me that scripture quickly, Prakashatayaba. Thou shalt eat no living bread with it. Seven days shall thou eat unleavened bread therewith, even the bread of affliction. For thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt in haste, that thou mayest remember. 
Tell your neighbor that you may remember. The day when thou camest forth out of the land of Egypt, all the days of thy life, all the days of your life, there are days to remember. You must set those days as everlasting remembrance. A broken sea, a call Andrea Kashia Dakas. Remembrance is a biblical key to kill giants. Make your list of victory. Lebraka sia dakarosh. Lembrado sia abraka sia dakash. Limbro etolia agashia dakas. Everybody open with me to 1 Samuel 17 37. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> Somebody shout with me now. I remember. I remember. Louder and louder. I remember. Bigger and brighter. Louder and louder. Shout it again. Look at it. Let's read it, church. David, you see, everybody, including King Saul, told David, don't bother to go to fight Goliath. You can't kill him. And David said, look, I was keeping my father's sheep. A lion came, a bear came, and I killed them. The God that helped me to kill the lion and the bear we also help me to kill this uncircumcised Philistine. Let's read verse 37. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the power of the lion and out of the power of the bear, he would deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul so said unto David, go and the Lord be with thee. If you rehearse your previous victory before your present challenge, then it will be leveled. You must rehearse your previous victories before your present battles. Rehearse. Rehearse it. Like Brokoshi Adas. Lebro Etolia Dakaras. For me, it's too many. It's too many. It's too many. La Gradash Taliahi. Let us see, Abro Atia Dakaras. And hear the conclusion. Tell your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor, you must rehearse your previous victory in the face of your present giants. This week, by this mystery, I see you bring down the head of that Goliath. Is it, is it a negative medical report? Whatever it is, is it finance? Is it over your family, over your children? Lebronisia Abrakashia Dakaras. I was 33, 32 going to 33, lying almost lifeless. When the doctor checked me and said, Oh, the liver is gone, for her, is gone, and he said, Look, and said to First Lady that even if we give him the best medication, by chance he will be 35. And he won't even live a normal life. Le Brodesia Bracasia Dakaria Dakas. And in two weeks, I came for another test, a brand new liver. Remember, sir. Remember, sir. So look at the present ne negative medical report. And like David, quote your past victory. God help me to kill the lion. God, help me to kill the bear. He will help me also now to kill this uncircumcised Philistine. You went to the labor room. The enemy decided you won't come out. And now you are alive with your baby. And now something is threatening your marriage. Tell that devil, God, that help me to deliver safely. When all the demons of my father's house and my in-law's house decided I won't come, alive, I won't come back alive with my baby, the same God we solve this one for me. Remember. Remember, sir. Remember, sir. David said, God that helped me to kill the lion, God that helped me to kill the bear, it will help me again. Always rehearse your past victories to your present difficulty. Rehearse it. Sing it as a song. It will refresh your faith. It will embolden your confidence. 
It will fortify you with grace. It will make everyone to step in into the situation. And hear the conclusion. Go into radical gratitude. I mean radical gratitude. This is the peak of perfection. You want to be a giant killer? Bring out your notes of remembrance. List out your previous victories. Listen, make them a statue before you. Then go into everlasting remembrance and top it up. Tell your neighbor, top it up with radical gratitude. And then to, 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 to nail the enemy on the head, substantiate your gratitude. We believe this message from Pastor KK has empowered you for more life-transforming messages, information, prayers, and counseling. Please call plus 234-706-8829299 or send an email to contact us at themastersplace.org or visit our website www.themastersplace.org we invite you to worship with us in our open heaven services every Sunday. First service, 6.45 a.m. Second service, 8.15 a.m. Third service, 9.45 a.m. Our special miracle fourth service by 11.15 a.m. The fifth service, 2 p.m. virtual. Sixth service, 4 p.m. virtual and in our fresh fire service every Wednesday by 4.30 p.m. at the Master's Place International Church, Church Unusual, Synergy Center, 190 Jagbar Road, Ephraim Wari, Delta State, Nigeria. You can be a part of our ever-growing social media community. Like us on Facebook at the Master's Place. Follow us on Twitter at the Master's Place. Welcome to your world of reformation. We celebrate you.